Greetings my monkey followers, it's Chappers back here for another guitar adventure and the art of learning stuff on the guitar. Inspired today by a guy called Ben who came down from up north um, for a lesson on some modal theory stuff. He was a nice guy and um, we were looking at some long scales and I kind of thought, you know what, it would be good for us to teach uh, a long scale that I hadn't taught him. Um, to some of you. <laughs> because you might like this, think of it as a transport network of win through the other scales that you may and should know. And uh, the scale we're going to do is this, it's a three octave, it's a, well, it's a variety of three octave minor of which there are many. And uh, it looks like this. Now, uh, this is, without getting into too much theory, because theory is bore, wait for it, Ing. You could use this scale to play any mode, in any key, any time you fancy, and uh, that's for another day. Right for now, we're going to say that the first note we're playing is the rooty tooty toot, in this case, E. So I'm saying E is my root, I'm starting on the E. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to say and state now that we're playing this. Uh, as it's a minor scale, like an Aeolian scale. So for example, we would be on the sixth degree of a major harmonized scale of chords, uh, maybe an E. So for example... So uh, this is a really good scale. It's nice and symmetrical, it covers a lot of ground, and there are some interesting tricks you can do with that in. And um, anyway, that's enough of my yabbering. Here is a close-up, clean-toned uh, introduction of the scale. So we'll commence with our first fingers on the 12th fret. And we're just going to play this little pattern. It goes one. It then goes second finger, third finger. So you get 12, 14, 15. This exact same pattern reoccurs on the A string. That's nice and easy, yeah? We're then going to slide up a tone with the third finger and do exactly the same pattern again over the other two octaves. So we've got first finger here on this, uh, where are we, 14. And then again, G string. And slide a tone again. Bring your first finger down. Don't forget there's the changing in the, uh, the tuning because of the B to G string thing. So we're going to be now, we're going to be now on the 17th fret B string. Again on the E string, up a tone with a slide, and then bend it to reach your octave. So you get this. Um, <laughs> I'm sure that's going to peak on my camera mic, but I don't really care. Awesome little scale, nice and symmetrical. It's begging for some uh, pattern type action. And I like to do uh, a pattern of six. And what I do sometimes is if I get a tricky part, I just miss it out. So what you could do is you could go one, two, three, four, five, six. Do that again with the volume up. Like that. And then you get the slide, but just forget that part. Go to the next shape. Forget the shape, uh, forget the slide, jump to the next shape. So you get these three sections of those two little uh, shapes, which I like to call reverse minor for a reason I'm keeping to myself. So you get... Like that. Good, isn't it? You could even go and start there. And start there. Start here. Like that. And it would sound something like engage overdrive and delay. This. You know, monkey sliding. Which is uh, riftastic, man. Ooh, I accidentally activated my sustainiac then. one of the most fun things ever to do in the universe that I've found. Uh, so enjoy that scale, uh, feel free to place it in different keys, modes, whatever you will and have, uh, and enjoy three octave minor pattern scaling. Um, take it easy, chappers out. <laughs>